wanted to bring this slide up. I presented this slide today um, by Dr. Norm Gregory. And these are, this is from our 2013 July to June 2014 numbers. Um, 75 existing industry visits, and out of that, the nine expansion opportunities, which some of those we are still working, and, um, well, actually all of those we're still working, and I've identified some new ones, even as those have moved off. The new existing job creation we talked about, I'm presenting um, in 2013-14, Express Scripts 135, but the rest of that comes from um, our existing industry and the jobs that they've, they've created um, here in our community, and those are new jobs, which is above what they currently have. Um, and then our RFI submissions have increased. So we were at six um, during our semi-annual portion, or semi-annually, and now we're at 12, this double. So that's been good, and we've seen some activity um, over the last few months. And you can go to the next. And then I have the pleasure of, of um, reviewing our budget with you. Um, our finance committee was Tom Call and Jerry Jeanette. So I will, if you'll allow me, I'll give a report Budget. Um, just to look at our budget, uh, this general operations were at six, uh, approximately 615000 That's actually lower than what we had in 2014, and the reason for that is we're seeing a decrease in lease payments. So we're no longer making that rent payment, which is saving us overall about $31,000 in our general operations. Um, we did have an increase in the industrial park maintenance from um, approximately $89,000 up to $92,000, and that's due to um, utility cost increase. Um, so we regulated that. Last year, if you'll recall, we were a little over budget when we came to the end of the year, so we've allotted for that increase in budget here in the industrial park maintenance. Um, we kept our numbers the same with our business retention expansion um, opportunities, which is $9,500. And that includes us going out and doing outreach to our existing industries if we do need to visit a corporate headquarters and any um, events that we may have at our community and industry partnership comes out of the sum fund as well for this line item. Um, you'll see an increase in our recruitment um, by about $20,000 from last year. And that is due to um, us doing some additional mark, uh, additional recruitment efforts and prospect development as it relates to the generation of leads. Um, and then you'll also see marketing public relations. We've seen an increase in that as well. And uh, what we're doing with the marketing public relations, well, you'll see that increase is um, partially due to one of the things that we would like to do from an external standpoint is really take a look at our external marketing efforts when we're working with consultants or location advisors, uh, making sure that we're communicating the right information and that we're staying on top of these things so that we're remaining competitive. So we've allotted for about $8,000 to look at our current marketing information, website, et cetera, and then to come back and make some additional um, comments to us and proposals. And Kate, who's actually going to be here tomorrow is the person who's doing that, which is Kate Muffet, right? Um, also in that, we've allotted for um, some additional public relations aspects of things where it comes from the local um, perspective and doing um, some direct mail pieces as needed, um, not just sitting here doing, you know, we're going to do one a quarter. This is so if we have some announcements or some things that we want to get out, um, we can allot for that on an as needed basis. Um, and some increases in um, business wires and some ways to get our news out better here in the local community. So that's where you see your increases. Overall, the total budget's increasing by about 2%, so not very much. Um, and that would be um, my budget presentation to the board, and I'll turn it over to the Finance Committee if they have any questions, or turn it over to you, Chairman, if you have any questions. Finance Committee first, do you have any explanations or comments you'd like to make? No. I mean, we, we reviewed it, and, uh, you know, you, you look at these expenses that we have, and, uh, and it's a very fragile position to be here with tax money, per se, given to us. Um, and I don't look at it as an expense as much as I look at it as an investment in the jobs that we're announcing and that we hope to announce even further. And so, <clears throat> you know, that, 
that that's the return on this investment is, is the job creation and, and job retention. And um, I think the, the numbers and the dollars that we've allocated have been allocated in the right spot. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see some see good return for it. So, Jerry? Yep. Do we have a recommendation from the Finance Committee then? Yes. I recommend that we accept this budget as presented for 2015. And I second. Okay. Any other discussion? All right. All in favor of accept, uh, accepting this budget as our budget for New Year? Fine. Thank you. And I would like to thank our Finance Committee for continuing to do an excellent job for us. And um, we're very fortunate that we have some members that have done this for us a couple of years in a row. The continuity is also wonderful to have. The, the knowledge of our budget and our finances is much appreciated. And Oh, were, you, were you through? You weren't through? No, I'm not through. I've got more to say. Okay. <laughs> um, so Megan, uh, Megan mentioned our meeting tomorrow 